Hello, St. David's. It's Father Joshua again with your Exile Minute for this Good Friday. I'm standing in the Creation Chapel at St. David's, uh, just past our solitary cross. This is one of my favorite places on our land. This wood, that wooden cross that was made for a joyful occasion, for a wedding, adorns our Creation Chapel, which right now is rather lonely and stark and appears to be full of death, much like Golgotha. But here in a few weeks, hopefully, by the grace of God, it will be full of life. Whether or not we're able to come back and plant things, there are perennials, herbs, that will green up and shoot up and feed the people and feed the animals around us. This cross casts a long shadow that reaches out to all of you. It stands solitary. It seems like it's in an empty place right now. But I'd like to reflect with you today on the collect for good uh, for Fridays that is used at morning prayer which I think tells us the truth of the cross let us pray almighty God whose most dear son went not up to joy but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified mercifully grant that we walking in the way of the cross may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today we reflect on the hard wood of the cross, where Jesus stretched out his arms so that all of us may come into the wholeness of his loving embrace. We are suspending our gatherings right now. We are not hugging each other in public or even shaking hands. But through that cross, we are all embraced by God. Through that cross, we have all been adopted by God. We are all one, one community because of that cross. As I said, the shadow of that cross is long and stretches to you wherever you are. May you have a blessed Good Friday. This has been Exile Minutes with Father Joshua. I'll see you tomorrow.